Johan, de martyr de Ossin Philotius, on this day, the honor of Ossin Philotius, whose name means love of God, was, was martyred. He was born in the city of Antioch of pagan parents who worshipped a bull, which they fed cakes made of fine flour and sesame, and sesame seed oil mixed with honey. They also anointed the bull with spices and fine perfumed oils three times every day, and they gave it wine and oil to drink. They established two places for the bull, one for the summer and another for the winter. They put around its neck a collar of gold and golden rings in its legs. In its legs. When Philotius was ten years old, his father asked him to worship the bull, but he refused. His father left him without punishment, for he loved him as he was his only son. As for St. Philotius, because of his young age, he did not know the living God, and he thought that the Son was the God. He stood once looking at the Son and said, I beseech you, O Son, if you are God, tell me. He heard a voice coming from heaven and saying, I am not God, I am a servant and slave, for, and a slave to God, whom you will know, and you will set your blood for, he, for his name's sake. For his name's sake. When God saw the integrity of the children of the child's heart, he sent his angel to inform about the creation of the world in the incarnation of the Lord Christ for the salvation of mankind. Saint Philotius was pleased and rejoiced in his heart. From that time on, he fasted and gave alms to the poor and those who were in distress. After one year had passed, his parents had a great banquet for their friends, and they asked their son to worship the bull before they ate and drank. The child stood in front of the bull and said, Are you the God that should be worshipped? And voice came out of the bull said, saying, I am not God, but the devil has possessed me and have become a disciple of men. Then the bull jumped and attacked his parents and to kill them instantly. They sent all his servants to kill the bull, burn its body and scatter its ashes. Saint Philotius prayed to prayed to God for the sake for the sake of his parents, and the Lord raised him raised them up from the dead. Later on, he was baptized along his parents in the name of the Father and the Son and Holy. Uh, yeah. Later on, he was baptized along with his parents with his parents in the name of the Father, the Son and Holy Sp and the Holy Spirit. God granted him the gift of healing the sick. And his repute reached the Diocletian the emperor. He brought him and ordered him to offer incense to the idols, but he refused. The emperor tortured him with all kinds of tortures, but the saint never saw it swayed for his determination. But the emperor tried again to persuade him by deception and flattery, and the saint promised to worship up Apollo as the emperor commanded. The emperor was pleased to hear this. And he brought Apollo along with seventy other seventy other idol, idols and seventy pagan priests, and a herald went around the, to call upon the public in the city. Great multitudes came to watch Saint Philotius worshiping Apollo. On the way, the saint prayed to the Lord Christ, and the earth was opened and swelled at the priest and the idol of Apollo. There was a great excitement and disturbance. And the great multitude believed and confessed the Lord Christ. The emperor exasperated and ordered them all beheaded, and they received the crown of martyrdom. Saint Pilotius was also beheaded, and he received the crown of life. His prayers be with us. Amen. On this day, too, on this day also, in the year 792 AD, Saint John, Saint John the Pope the Fourth. 48 Pope of Alexandria departed. He became a monk in the Saint, in the Saint Macarius Monastery. He, per, he preserved in intense worship and was reput, reputed in his ascetic life. He was chosen by Pope Michael, 46 Pope of Alexandria, and ordained a priest for the Church of Saint Mina. Pope Michael entrusted him to manage his 
to manage the affairs of the church and to let the people and direct all its property of and offerings, he excelled in his duties. When Andamina, 47, Pope of Alexandria departed, the bishops, the priests, and the scholars of the city of Alexandria gathered and nominated several monks. They wrote the name of each of them on a piece of paper, and the, and the name of the Father John was among them. The bishops prayed and celebrated the divine liturgy for three days. Then, on the third day, they brought a child to draw one of the names. They found it to be the name of the saint, Father John. They returned the paper, mixed it with the other papers, and brought another child to do the same paper. This was repeated at the th at repeated at the time. They were sure they were sure that the Lord had chosen Father John to become the next pope. They took him and ordained him patriarch in seven in seven in seven hundred sixty eight A.D. He said he shepherd his flock well. He always preached the people, confirming them in the Orthodox faith. He was also merciful to the poor and the needy. During his days, there was a famine, to the point that one missing a great bushel was sold, to, was sold for two denarii. Many people, many poor from different beliefs, many poor from different beliefs, gathered every day at his door. He delegated his disciple Marx. To, to his disciple Mark to use the money of the churches to feed the poor and satisfy their needs. He offered to everyone without distinction of faith until God removed this famine. Anba John was dedicated to building many churches. When the time of his departure drew near, he called on the priests and said to them, On the 16th, on the 16th of Tuba, I was born and was also and was also an and was also ordained Pope. On this day also, I will depart from this world. When the bishops and the priests he did heard this, they wept and said, Who will who will become a father after you? They said to them, The Lord Jesus Christ has chosen my disciple Father Mark to this rank. After he had completed 20, 23 years and several months in the papacy, he departed in peace. Peace, prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen.